Do you understand. like being a Christian? I'm uncomfortable with the label Christian sometimes. Uh, you know how so- Why? every day somebody asks me, you're not a Christian, are you? I'm just kidding. That never happens. But <laughs> <laughs> You're not one of the Christians, are you? I hope you're not. Because if you were, you're not going to clean my pool. <laughs> <laughs> my, cool, my pool is completely cleaned by sinners and atheists. <laughs> so Jeff's there. Yeah. With his bikes. <laughs> Sinner bikes. <laughs> uh, I, I I mean, if Christian means someone trying to live like Jesus, that's me. But if so many people, I see thinking of people like Kenneth Copeland and uh, I had like three other names. I was I was read, I was thinking about this as you guys were talking. Jolstein. I, I wasn't listening. Jolstein. I mean, he uh, he's he's very safe. You know, he would have infuriated me back in the day when I was like full on like doctrine police. He's got his own issues and problems, but. Just the angry Christian, that super judgmental. John MacArthur, his ministry is called Grace to You, but he's got grace for almost nobody. Those types of people, it's like, I'm not that. They, they believe something different about what God was doing in Jesus than I do. So where where is Christian and where is non-Christian? Are you an Angels fan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know where, do you so know where I'm going? You know where I'm going with this one, right? Sure. Lay the trap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're not like all Angels fans. Some right. some are drunk and some are assholes. That's the kind you're like. And then there's some that are nice and sweet and kind. But you're I'm, not like them. <laughs> I agree, but I'm reasonably sure that even the asshole Angel fans don't think I'm going to hell if I'm not a proper Angel <laughs> fan. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Yankees fans would. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, they're all Yankee fans don't go to heaven. That's obvious. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. No, it's it's good. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say I'm not a Christian, but I just I struggle with that because I I just hate so much about what certain fringe aspects and some of that fringe has large audiences, unfortunately. But most of those people don't aren't like the leader. Most people want the same things I do, which is, you know, healthy family, safe family, they love their country, they they want what's best for the most people possible. We just disagree about how to get there. But man, just some, some of the stuff, it just, I, the only word I can think of, especially Kenneth Copeland is like demonic. He just, the way he yells and I don't know. Oh, I love those. The judgment. I love those YouTube videos of him that have, have him overdubbed with uh, that dude playing metal guitar. Andre, Andres Antunes, something like that. Yes. I think that's his YouTube channel is worth looking up. Dude, can we put it in the show notes? We can. A couple of them. He he has like Karen's going metal. He does everyone going metal, like somebody yelling on the street. Yeah. They're just screaming and yelling and he puts metal guitar to it and like matches it up perfectly. And full on drums and everything. It's like magical. Yeah. It's wild how he programs that. The internet, that's why the internet was created. So what what keeps me hooked on to the, the God is love and just focus. I believe in love. I believe in the power of love, like pure self-sacrificial love will change the world whether or not God is real in the way I think he is. And I said, I, I, I think he's real in a certain way, but I, I don't know that. And one of the joys of coming out of my deconstruction is like being very comfortable with the, with what I don't know, but still believing certain things. So okay, what is that? Sac- okay. You're saying, you know, I believe in sacrificial love. So what does that look like for you? App like apply to your life. Someone giving themselves up for the good of the others. And, you know, the example of Jesus giving himself up on the cross, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they do. That's That has the real power to change the world. One of the other questions that we won't get to, but is like, if Jesus didn't rise from the dead, does that change? What would that change for you? For me, it wouldn't change much because I know that the more people align themselves with agape love and try to do that and how they raise their families and interact with their community and their work and all that stuff, the better the world gets, like whether or not God is real. I'm not saying God's not real, but okay. I'm done with caveating guys. Okay. I caveated too many times. It's over. Okay. The sacrificial you mentioned it's, I believe in a sacrificial love, but how does that play out in your life? Like where I try not to be a dick. Here's my favorite Zach story of <laughs> sacrificial love <clears throat> where he's Zach and he's going to save you. Yep. I'm going to save you. 
you're you're parked outside of our kids school <laughs> in a spot that you probably shouldn't have been parked in oh i know this and some guy is not happy about your park- hey man, parking situation. Get the hell out of the way! And this guy comes up to the window and Dude, just, what are you doing? No, was your window down? Nope. I've seen this guy yelling at other parents at other times, and this guy pulls up behind me, and I was... <laughs> when I parked there, it was at a legal time to park there. And as I was waiting for my child to walk out, enough time had passed where now I'm holding up traffic. I probably should have moved. And this guy pulls up behind me. You t- oh, he t- he yeah, gets yeah. out and he he's like walking up to me. I know this is you see it coming. And what does he say to you? He he comes up and he's he I don't know something about like you're holding up traffic. You know, what are you doing? You got to move. You're holding you 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 traffic. Don't Come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me. Shit! 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 Honda. Why buy Honda? And your response. I just, I rolled the window down. I looked at him and I'm like, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. (laughs) It was over. It was over. Case closed. It broke his brain. He was like, oh, (laughs) we just broke. Yeah. Thanks. You mean we're done? (laughs) He was ready for a fight. And if I had said the wrong thing, we might've gotten to a fight. bro. My brother-in-law, Rusty was in the line in the appropriate part. Um, And, (laughs) he saw it and he's like he called me right away after that he's like dude i was so ready i was gonna come <laughs> fight with you <laughs> but yeah i just i just guess there's my nine if you speak enneagram i'm sort of a well, nine just great sacrificial love you're doing no, it's just there. tremendous speaking of which have you ever been in a moment with your wife in public where you're like ah oh, shit i gotta get in a fight right about now <laughs> <laughs> No, um, no, no, because no. Oh, I have multiple. No. I have multiple of those. <laughs> In my defense, it is me defending her, and both times we're at concerts. Yeah. Oh. The first one was at Coachella. Oh, I thought you meant like you're gonna fight with your wife. No, 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 no. Oh, it's, okay. That's what you were. No, 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 no. No, it's it's me. Like I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cut a fool. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was someone was mis mistreating pushing shoving my wife in a concert situation and uh, i made sure it stopped the first one was hey asshole that's my wife and and i saw the guy's look on his face and it was like oh if i would have been like hey we just started dating (laughs) his response might have been a little bit different to be like I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. Yeah. But hey, this lady, one, it looks yeah. like you don't have a strong man. Yeah. Or it, I think it was more. Yeah. In, in this case, it was like, this guy might actually die in the scenario. I think I would probably back off and let her have her space. And then the other one was when I grabbed some guy by the throat as he was shoving Lindsay out of the way. Whoa. I was barely uh-huh. pushing her. And I may have used stronger language and stronger hand motions. Well, this is a children's show, so we'll protect <laughs> the listener from that. Anyway, kids, if you want to get the coloring book, you can click on the link below. It's great. <laughs> now back to Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So. That's so funny. When you're mentioning that, you're like, do you ever get a fight with your wife, like out in public? I'm like, oh no, that doesn't happen. I'll get destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I just, I, my wife will just, she'll just, I'm not the one who needs to do anything because she's already like, she's like a Rottweiler no, out that, in public. I know, but those are the things that I'm looking at. Like, I've, I've been in some of those situations where I'm like, oh babe, no, no, chill out. Because if you don't, now I'm gonna, yeah. now I'm gonna have to step in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and well, I, I mean, I took a month of jujitsu, so I'm feeling pretty confident here. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I think we gotta we gotta land this plane. All right. Uh, we're, I do hear the wheels. C- we are short on time, down. so we're gonna have to get to the feet washing and the secret sin confession <sighs> and the baptism of a live baby goat later. I had on. a cross that we were able to nail our sins to. Oh, okay. Well, I was just gonna. We're going through the hands, right?